Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, today we're going to create two projects using the Spellbinders and Fun Stampers Journey Stamp of the Month Club Kit for December 2019. This month's stamp set is so adorable. It's called Penguin Waddle and you have lots of penguins in here for a whole bunch of different scenes. There's one for birthdays, one has a balloon, great for Valentine's Day, one has a heart. Um, there's two little penguins holding hands, which is adorable, and then fun sentiments that say, um, you're the coolest, um, I love you, and um, take my heart. So I thought it would be fun to make two cards today. Um, if you're new to the Spellbinders or Fun Stampers Journey Stamp of the Month Club Kit, it's a monthly cup club kit subscription at a great price point, and there'll always be red rubber stamps, and um, they stamp so wonderfully. Red Rubber is always known for stamping beautifully and the quality of them. So for my project today, we're going to create two cards. I'm going to stamp this little guy, just the same guy. We're going to stamp him five times. And the nice thing about this little guy um, and most of the penguins in the stamp set, there's accessories that you can, you can um, stamp to accessorize your penguin. So I'm stamping with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I'm afraid my ink pad is a little bit dry. So I thought I'd bring in my Misty to, to ensure that I get good coverage. And I'm going to go in every corner of this um, panel here. And I'm not going to use all of the images, um, all the accessories that I'm stamping, but I am going to use, um, for the most part, most of them. After all four corners are stamped, I'm going to clean off my little bow tie and my little hat and we'll take the penguin and place him in the middle and we're going to stamp him one more time in the middle. After he's stamped, I'm going to zoom in and we're going to color with Copic markers. I left the uh, cap set for you guys. I'm going to play a little bit of music while I color. Penguins are very easy to color because of course they're black and white. And I thought before we get to coloring, I'm going to stamp this glasses directly on this little guy. I wear glasses and I thought that'd be real cute to do that. <laughs> so I'll play some music for you while I color. And then when I'm done coloring, I will get you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now we gotta take our scissors and fussy cut each one of these guys out. And it looks like there's a lot, but really it was so easy to cut out. Okay, and I thought we would go with a rainbow theme if you haven't guessed it by now. <laughs> and all the accessories I colored in the same colors as I did the little hearts that the penguins were holding. So we have some purple, pink um, hat, or we have purple hats, pink bows, um, yellow hats and I'm lining up the accessories with the heart in the same color on each one of my penguins. So we have the green penguin holding the heart with the green hat and the blue penguin we're going to add glasses to, sunglasses, and then also a little blue bow. So we have a little rainbow penguins here. <laughs> okay and they are so sweet. Now I'm bringing in some Fun Stamper's Journey color splash sheets. These are cold pressed watercolor sheets and I thought we'd create a real fun background using some liquid colors that I haven't used before. These are from Fun Snapper's Journey and what they are are water-based dye inks and they create real fun um, watercolor effects but I thought we'd make a background with them. So I have five colors in the rainbow um, and if you wanted to do the same effect using a blending tool you very well could but I'm going to 
go the easy route and use some baby wipes. So I have a stack here, about five of them stacked together. I'm gonna fold it in half. And then we're gonna take each one of the color and draw um, a line with it. Super duper easy, guys. Okay, we're gonna start off with watermelon. And it's watermelon is real pretty. It's like a fuchsia, be cross between a purple and a pink. And I'm just gonna squeeze that bottle and add a line. And then I am gonna leave a little bit of a white space in between each one of the colors. I wasn't sure if it was gonna spread out or not. Um, and I'm kind of glad I did because when I did my backgrounds, um, it did show some of the white. And I really like that effect. The pink was bubblegum, yellow's lemon drop. The orange here is called um, sweet pear. And then last but not least, we're going to use some lovely blue. <laughs> Once they're all down, I didn't add too much. You can see it didn't go through the back side. I'm going to take my watercolor paper. I'm trying to debate on whether going horizontal or vertically. And I think we're going to go vertically. And I'm just pressing it against the top part of my watercolor cardstock and pulling down. And it creates a real fun background. Now, if you overlap them, it kind of creates that mess there. So I think we can not use that part and we're going to try it one more time. So I'm going to reapply each one of the inks um, in the same spot. So we have the watermelon, the bubblegum, lemon drop, green pear, and then lovely blue. And then this time we're going to go vertically and we're going to overlap them just a little bit, kind of lining them up so they don't create a muddy mess. And I love those colors, so bright and cheery. We're going to do one more. And um, for my two projects today, I'm only gonna use two of the panels, but you can see here, very easy to do, and um, overlapping them looks just as nice. Cleanup's easy. Um, if you wanted to use gloves, you wouldn't get it on your hands like I did, but it washes off very easily. Now you wanna wait until your paper is completely dry before you trim it down. So um, I'm just putting it in my paper trimmer and we're gonna create a small panel. I'm basically cutting off um, the watercolor on the left just so my lines are a little bit more um, horizontal here. I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. <laughs> Take about a quarter of an inch off here. A eh, half an inch. Okay so that's gonna be one panel. Now for my next panel I cut it into two pieces and then took like an inch out of those two pieces. For card number one we're gonna make it very easy with our background. We're just gonna place this panel on here and then our purple penguin. And then for the other one I wasn't sure if I wanted my penguins to be stacked on top of each other or side by side, but I knew I wanted um, one panel on the bottom here and then the smaller panel on top. I just taped it with my tape runner. And again, there's like a one inch gap between the two colors that I took out. This one's gonna go all the way to the right. And then I'm gonna turn my card um, horizontally and we're gonna use the penguins side by side. I thought it just looked nicer and my uh, sentiment would fit in there beautifully. So kind of going in rainbow order, figuring out the placement of my little penguins. I'm I chose the sentiment that says, take my heart. I thought it went perfect with all these little hearts these guys were holding. I'm stamping my sentiment with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I did add foam tape behind each one of my penguins. We're just going to um, remove the release paper and kind of arrange them on our card here. Nice, fun, bright background. I only have that one streak of blue, but I think it was just enough to bring out that little blue penguin there, or blue heart holding penguin. <laughs> and I think that looks fun. I want to scoot them over just a little bit more closer to the sentiment for a little more balance. And I think it looks so sweet. Now we're going to work on our next card. I decided we need a little more black in our background. So I brought in some diagonal stripe black and white paper. And then I added foam adhesive behind my um, watercolor background. I did trim it down a little bit more off the bottom. I just matted that stripe paper behind it and taped that down to my card base. And then for this card, I chose a sentiment that just said, I love you. We'll stamp that in the center right below our little panel and then just add our little purple penguin or technically not a purple penguin but our purple hatted hearted holded penguin <laughs> now as i was i love the stripes with that with those bright colors so i thought i have a thin strip of the stripe paper here um, i'm going to add a little glue to the, the very bottom of the wider 
uh, watercolor paper and just add a thin stripe of polka dot or a thin line of stripe paper and I think that just set that off and I like that a lot better. So those are my two cards today guys using the stamp of the month club kit for spellbinders and fun stampers journey. This month's kit is called penguin waddle and if you're interested in it um, links will be down below. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for stopping by. We will see you again soon.